Welcome back, Unicorns, to another video. And today's video is day 24 of 31 Days of Halloween. So if you want to see what I do today and hear all the information, stay tuned. So this day is going to be a break day for me. I'm going to be sharing, and it's going to still be Halloween themed video, but no makeup today. I'm going to let my face rest because the last couple days of Halloween. Um, of the series, I'm gonna be rocking out makeup look. So I need to let my face rest for today, and then the past, the next day will be Halloween looks. So um, I'll be rocking out all those days. Um, the last kind of like last week of um, October, doing my own makeup looks. But I need to let my face rest for today. And I thought of this video and thought it was a great idea to do, and um, wanted to share it with y'all. So as I can tell by the title. These are the must-have Halloween makeup items that are affordable that you need. Um, I'm going to do makeup first, but I am going to splash in non-makeup items, which are three um, that I think you need for Halloween time. If you want to do makeup looks. Um, these are all great makeup items if you do not want to use, like, the tr traditional um, Halloween makeup. You know, the ones that you get, like, in those little packs. That you just get for Halloween. These are really great if you don't want to really do those just because you have like sensitive skin or you don't really trust that makeup. And they're affordable, so you don't really have to worry about um spending a lot of money on Halloween makeup. And I just wanted to share it with y'all. Thought it was a good idea. Um, I know this is close to the end and you might not be able to get it, but you can still get it before um Halloween. Um, because some of these are like in every drugstore. Or you can get off the brand's website if they're still available. But, um, hope y'all do get them. If y'all do, let me know. I will link everything down below that I share. Um, so y'all know. So let's get on with the items. So again, I will link all the items down below that I do talk about. If I do have a link or a code, they'll be down below at the bottom, like always. But I will link the product itself. Um, so you know. And these are all affordable makeup items that you really need to get if you are... If you do makeup looks, like if you do YouTube or if you do like, if you need a good makeup items if you're doing a Halloween party or dressing up for Halloween this year, these are really good ones. So I'm going to start with my favorites first. These are the Wet n Wild that I've been using. They're face paints. Um, during the series, I got red, I got white, I got black. Um, and I got these little palettes um, from them as well. They have um, these palettes as well. Um, if you need more than one shade, and they're really good. And this one's the Bright Palettes. But these um, circle ones are really good if you need some face makeup. The only thing I recommend if you do have sensitive skin, I recommend you do a base first, like foundation, and then put this on. Because I noticed when I just put like a primer on, my skin will be very itchy. Um, so to prevent that, um, I do foundation. And I put this over a foundation, and it works very well. It's nothing... You know, it don't make the um, foundation, I mean, it don't make the paints um, less color or anything. But they work very well. And all you have to do is just apply it to your face with a brush. No water is needed. Um, so it's really nice and mess free. And they blend out really good. Um, I really love their paints and they're affordable. Um, you can get, also get these off of Walmart. But for some reason, every time I link the Walmart link, it says it's spam. Which is not, I don't know, it's a Walmart link, so I don't know what that's about. But, um, but yeah, um, I don't know. But I will try to find another link to have the Walmart one because I keep removing that link for some reason. And I'll link the palette down below as well. And if you do want to check out Wet n Wild's collection, they do have a Halloween collection on their website. Um, I think they came out with some new items like, um, some tube paints. And you can, like, it's like... I kind of like a liquid blush kind of thing, but it's face paints, and it's like in a tube form, just because you can't really, if you don't really like these types, it's like a different formula, I think. Um, so that's really nice. So those are the first items I want to talk about that I think you need if you do like full face makeup. I really recommend the face um, paints. So let's get on with the next item. So the next item I recommend y'all to get is if you don't have the face paints and you don't really want to use face paints and you do like spooky makeup I recommend a black liner so this one is um the LA Colors matte um eyeliner um I had this for a while 
still works. So I'm still going to use it even though there's like this much left. Um, but I still use this. LA Colors is a good brand. I really recommend them. Um, they have some good liners and other things. But I can recommend a black liner like if you do like a skull look or a pumpkin look or anything like that. You can also use eyeshadow as well um, if you have like a pigmented black eyeshadow. Or if you have a black lipstick, you can use it if it's, face, um, if it's good for your face. I know some lipsticks aren't. But, yeah, I always recommend a black eyeliner if y'all do spooky makeup. Um, the next thing is an eyeliner, but if you want to do it the fun route, I recommend a color liner. So this one's a pink eyeliner um, that I got from Unicorn Glow. Um, they sent it to me in PR. I do have a code for Unicorn Glow. I really recommend y'all to check them out. Um, this is what I used for my Frankenstein look. If y'all saw it, if y'all didn't, I will link it down below if I remember or check out the playlist I linked down below uh, for 31 Days of Halloween. Um, but I really recommend a colored eyeliner because it's fun, um, you know, fun liner look if you want to do like ghosts, like pink ghosts or if you want to do colored ghost stuff. Eyeliners are good if you don't really want to use face paint. So those are two eyeliners I have. So now let's get on the next item. So the next item I recommend is a fun um, colored mascara or the next thing I'm going to talk about is um, lashes but a colored mascara is really fun for this season, um, Halloween spooky season. I got this dark, it's supposed to be blue black. Um, this is the one, when I link I cannot find this tube so I don't know if it's not out yet or what but I cannot find it. It just shows the regular one. So I will link the regular one down below, but if you could find this, let me know down below where you found it at, and I'll link it. But every time I look it up, I cannot find this um, one, but this one's the blue-black or tint of blue mascara. But blue, color mascaras are fun, and I know you can't really see this one because it's like a dark blue color. But like if you have like white mascara, a pink one, a purple one, it's really fun for the season to do. Or, if you don't have a mascara, you can also do fun lashes, which I got these kiss ones that I got from Susan Just Making It. She sent me in friend mail. And this one's the Naughty Ghoul um, Happy Haunting Nights um, Kiss Eyelashes. And this one has rhinestone in it. I don't have colored eyelashes, but I got these fun ones that have rhinestones in it. I haven't used them this year for any looks that I've created yet. Um... I'm really new to lashes and I can't really apply them very well. Um, every time I apply them, they don't turn out good. Um, so I try my best. And the reason why is because I have two different shaped eyes. And this eye, sometimes it like feels like it's stabbing me. Because um, this one's like coated down some. Because what happened in my childhood. But um, yeah, I just I think they're fun. And I don't care what anybody says about the lashes. I just think they're fun and they're make the look more um put together I think but lashes are really fun for Halloween and they do have some other like colored ones Kiss does and I think other brands do as well but I'll link those down below if I can find them but they're Halloween limited edition so I don't know if they're still out yet when I'm filming this but if I find them I'll link them so those are two mascara and lashes I want to talk about so we got two more makeup items to talk about, and then we'll get on with the other things I don't think you need for the spooky Halloween season. So let's talk about those next. So the next thing I think you need if you want to glam up a look is rhinestones. And what I usually do is apply these with lash glue. Um, there is like a sticky bag, but it doesn't really last long without lash glue. Um, I got these ones for LA Colors. Um, I cannot find these when I look them up. But this is what I got on PR, and there's different sizes, there's large, medium, and small, and they're really fun to glam up a look. I use those in my witch look um, for this um, for the Women Who Collab group. Um, I'll try to link that down below, but if I can't remember, because by the time I'm editing this, if I cannot remember um, to link everything, just check out that playlist I'll link down below and find them yourself. Um, playlist will catch you up to all the days in 31 days of Halloween but I think gems are fun um to claim up a look just in case and some people have been doing full gem looks like the skeleton or they do like clown like instead of using glitter they use gems which is so cool looking which I had enough time and gems for that but 
I don't, maybe next year I could have would if I get some more. But, yeah, that's all I think that you need for the eyes. And let's get on with the last item. So, the last item that I think you would need for this Halloween season is a black um, lipstick. I got this one from Shein. It's the Q Best. QI Best lip um soft matte lip cream it's very good if you want to see how this performs check out my um the disney villains look that i did close to the beginning of this series i think you always need a fun lip color either black or you know anything fun like that um i always think you need a black one because that's what i think i needed every time i do this halloween series which is i think this is my fourth time doing it this year um, I only have two playlists for the past. The first time I tried to do this, I didn't do a playlist. But, um, yeah, um, this one is what the tube looks like. And this works very well. It's very pigmented. It doesn't dry out the lips or anything. Um, and it applied well. I don't know the staying power because if you don't know me, um, Number one, after I get done with these videos, most, most of the time I go and eat lunch because by the time I get done with these videos, it's lunchtime. So I don't keep a lip on. And then I feel like even though it's dried down on my lips, I still feel it on my lips. So I can't drink or eat with it on, even though some people do that. I just can't. So I take it off after I film a video. Um, but um, but it says more long-lasting. It's, it's like nothing you've experienced before. It's, like, it's lipstick cream that goes on silky but looks soft matte and i really recommend y'all to check out sheen if y'all need makeup look i mean makeup items for halloween or anytime sheen has really good ones i know some people are iffy about it or they don't know um but i really enjoy um sheen's makeup i haven't had any problems with it so i'm going to continue to buy from them and k beauty is some of them are really nice so I feel like if you need affordable makeup you can go that route or you could just go to your local drugstore and check there because some of these brands are really good and I really recommend them. So the last three items I talk about are skincare, hair accessories, and some fun little contacts that I think y'all might need for Halloween season. So let's talk about those. Okay, so the thing I think you need is if you can handle them. I'm new to these, but once I applied them, I didn't notice they were in my eyes. But if you can handle them, I recommend y'all to get some contacts, some fun contacts. Um, just make sure, if you are new to them, to read the reviews or ask, like, a friend that might have tried them before if they recommend them because some contacts are really bad um, if they're cheaply made and stuff. So I just recommend y'all do that. Um, but Unico I, I think that's how you said that brand, this brand, they sent me some PR from some contacts, and I've been using them during this season. Um, if I can get to all of them, um, I will be doing a video um, in the beginning of November, giving y'all my review on them and showing the clips of me having them on in makeup books. I cannot show y'all putting them on because I'm very new to eyelashes, and it takes me a minute to put them on. But these are in Natural Sweet Violet, and I do have a code for this brand if you want to check them out and get some contacts for this Halloween season. I really recommend contacts. They're very fun, um, and purple ones are really cool looking. Um, I tried these in my um, horror game, which was Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's. If you want to see what they look like on the eyes, I think they look very spooky on the eyes for that look, but they're really fun. And this is a good brand. Um, I heard a lot of good things about it. Um, but that's why I recommend if you ever get contacts from somewhere, just check reviews, um, tell people and stuff before you buy them, just in case some people had a bad experience with them. But I've been using these and they're really nice. So I really recommend y'all check this brand now. If you want to use my code, let me know down below if you do. I really recommend you to check them out. And if you do check them out, um, just let me know in the comments if you do use my codes for any of these products or make contacts. I love hearing y'all's thoughts if y'all did. Or if you try this brand and did it, and before you watch this video, let me know what you thought of them. I really love them. I think I got two more pairs I need to wear. I don't know if I'm going to wear them during this um, series or not, but if I do, I will let you know. If I don't, I um, might do it in another video. I don't know. I had, they sent me five, and I think I got two more left to try out. So, yeah. 
So that's all I talk about for the contacts. So the next thing I love to get for the Halloween season is hair accessories. So I'm wearing one of these today. It's a bat bow clip. I got two of them. I recommend hair accessories because it's a fun way to accessorize makeup looks or, you know, Halloween costumes. You can get some from Shein, which I got these from Shein. Amazon, um, Dollar Tree has some fun ones um, that are really affordable. But Shein's where I got mine. I recommend y'all check out Shein um, if y'all want to get some good hair accessories like headbands I've been wearing during this season or clips or hats. Um, I think the hair accessories just complete the look if you do like a full um, outfit of some sort. Um, but that's what I do because sometimes I don't dress up. Um, when I do these makeup videos, I just wear like a similar color that will go with the, um, person or item that I'm doing for the, like the theme for the makeup look. I just do that and then I just accessorize with whatever headband or something that will go with the look. So that's what I recommend. I just wanted to splash in other ideas just in case you're not a makeup lover if you want to get some other ideas things I just splashes in since I have three more things to talk about that weren't makeup earlier but this one's mainly makeup so the last thing is a skincare item so let's talk about that so the last thing I think you need for Halloween if you do a full face of makeup or a full face of face paint on your face I really recommend you to get a good cleansing balm um this is what I do first before I um wash my face and I do a cleanse bond to melt the makeup and then I wash my face after. This is a new cleansing bomb that I'm trying out. Um there will be a video on my Instagram and my TikTok. Um if I remember I will do a short here if I have time. But mainly my shorts are like sneak peeks of the next video coming up. Um so I'll try to do something if I can. If I do it might be like later on like around 6 p.m. Eastern when I do like another short. So if there's another short, it'll be of this um, testing it out and telling y'all it's just going to be me testing it out. And then you just read the description of the short if you can figure out how to get to the description. I don't know how you do I think you just click the video somehow. If you want to read my thoughts or if not, you can always check out my Instagram reels or my TikTok if you want to read what I thought of that cleanser. But I really think a cleansing bomb is really good um to melt the makeup if you do like a full face of face paint and stuff it really melts makeup really nice and any cleanser bomb will work i do have another one from search with h Himichi, Himichi. i don't know if i'm saying that brand right but it was another cleanser bomb i got but you can use any cleanser bomb or you can always go the route of um makeup wipes but some people don't really like those and what i always do is just do makeup wipes or like a reusable um makeup brown you can use that well and then just clean your brain face after um but i just want to share the cleansing mom because i think it's a go-to in halloween makeup if you do full face of face paints it melts them really good and helps them remove easier i think but those are all my go-to must-have halloween items that you need to get for the halloween season um, if you do pick up any of these items, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to read your comment. Um, and let me know what you're being for Halloween if you are dressing up. I'm not really dressing up this year, but I did do some makeup looks this year for the season and the series I'm doing on my channel um, to give y'all ideas. But mainly on Halloween, I and me and my family usually watch horror movies all that weekend. And then um, if it's not on, it's the weekend before um, Halloween is when we do it. Um, if it falls during the weekday, and on the weekday, we just sit around and maybe watch a Halloween movie if it's during the week, or eat some candy, and that's what we usually do um, on Halloween. We don't really dress up or hand out candy or anything, because that's not what we really do. Our tradition is watch Halloween movies, or horror, horror movies. Um, this year, I think we're going to be doing Saw. The series of Saw, since the new one just came out. I don't know if we're going to be able to watch the new one or not. Because I don't know if it's out on Hulu or anything yet. Um, but I really want to watch the new Saw movie. I'm a fan of Saw. It was one of my first horror series that I watched with my family for Halloween. Um, one of the first ones. 
and I love that we do that. We watch a series, so we all mostly all day that day we watch horror movies, and it's so much fun. Um, yeah. So let me know what you're doing for Halloween. If you're doing something fun, dressing up, going to a party, watching horror movies, staying in, eating some candy, whatever you do, let me know in the comments. And I think that's it for today. I forgot to mention, if you are enjoying this series, let me know what day's your favorite. I'm so sad that it's almost over. I've been enjoying this series. I do it every year and I have so much fun and to be creating makeup and all that stuff and giving you all ideas. Um, but the next series that will be coming soon will be um, Vlogmas that I do for Christmas time. I try to do um, everyday filming or most of the days that are Christmas themed videos. So if you do want another series for every day in December, make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon so you're notified when that series comes out. It will be the 1st of December. And I can't wait for that series. Um, I have some fun collabs coming up during that series, um, during December for uh, Christmas. And I can't wait for y'all to watch that. So, yeah. Um, again, um, I will make the playlist for 31 Days of Halloween for this year. Just in case you want to catch up on all the days. If you are miss, if you miss any days and you're new here. Um, and I do film every day in October at Halloween themed makeup. So, hope y'all do enjoy that. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you enjoyed seeing this video today. Let me know if you, it was a great video that you got informed about makeup. Let me know if you did enjoy it. I'd love to know your thoughts. I thought it would be a good one to share with y'all just in case y'all are new to makeup or Halloween makeup content. Um, lastly, don't forget to subscribe to the Unicorn Family. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload. And Unicorn, always be yourself. Bye. Thank you.